Good morning, Beach Bums. Welcome back to the channel. I'm pretty amped because I'm starting today doing probably my number one most favorite fishing style, and that's plugging from the beach. We're just getting into the season where you've got a lot of opportunity throwing big plugs, big baits from the beach. You can catch trout, like really big trout. You can catch bull redfish, you can catch bluefish. And of course my favorite and the prize catch from the beach would be a big Jack Crevel like that. That would be icing on the cake. I would be super stoked if I could hang into a Jack Crevel from the beach today. Just the baddest fish we've got around here and catching it from the beach is just insane. I know Jack Crevel is like a fish that a lot of people think, oh, phew, you know, Jack Crevel, especially in South Florida, but in shore, you're just not gonna find anything that throws down like a Jack Crevel. And catching it from the beach is not always the easiest thing to do, especially in our area, especially those really big ones. So that's what I'm looking for, big Jack, but I'm happy with anything. This is my first outing doing this this season. So really don't care, just wanna get into some fish, throw some big plugs from the beach. Let's get after it. Water's a little bit dirty. It has some visibility to it, not terrible, which honestly not a bad thing for throwing big disturbing baits. You don't want the fish to see too well, right? And I'm starting out, this honestly isn't that big of a bait. This is the 105. I've thrown this the most. For if you're all in on jacks, I'd say the 135. It's a little bit bigger, it's a little heavier. Probably a better option, but I'm confident with this particular bait that trout and reds will hit it as well so i'm kind of hoping for really whatever i know jacks will hit it as well i've caught jacks on this exact lure so it's kind of a catch-all but that bigger heavier bait you can of course sling it a little bit further i think i just saw a spanish jump don't really expect spanish to hit a popper but maybe there's something else in there Nothing on the popper so far this morning. I'm changing over to a spoon and this is also a smaller profile just to see if I can pick up a fish. I did see one Spanish jump. So I just want to get something shiny and relatively small on the profile just to see, see if I can pick up a fish. Oh, there we go there's a fish okay got him got him got him saw some bait getting worked i think it's going to be a spanish seeing a couple of schools of spanish working on some some bait around here so that's why i wanted to put this spoon on Spaniard. Not a bad one either. Nice fish. Nice Spanish. Pretty. Such a beautiful fish. They're definitely going off this morning. See, dude. All right. First fish of the morning. Uh, they're still flipping out there. There we go, there's a fish. Yes. I didn't see any schools that time. I just was making some blind casts. Dolphins just came through and I kind of figured nothing was gonna be going on for a minute, but didn't scare them all away. Another Spanish. There we go. Nice little Spanish. Thank you, buddy. Fish number two. I know I'll get a lot of comments. People will say, why aren't you keeping fish? When I do this style of fishing, I am moving so much. I don't have a, an effective way to carry anything with me to keep fish. So I never intend on keeping anything when I'm walking the beach throwing lures like this because I'm just trying to cover ground catch fish Spanish wasn't even really on my list today but I was prepared for it I kept seeing these schools 
of Spanish and that's what's here. I've thrown some bigger baits, bigger plugs with no success. So I figured I'd downsize, throw something shiny and catch the Spanish. You know, just catch what's here. <laughs> Capitalize. Just out here having fun. Fishing's fun. It's it's fun to catch fish. Oh, just got hit there. There's one. Yes. Got a big school of them right here right now. Come here, dude. They hit so fast. They're such a fast swimming fish. Glad I changed to the spoon. Ooh, this one feels heavy. Back off that drag a little bit, see if we can keep them on. This one's definitely tugging the, the most. Yeah, nice Spanish. Ooh, man, he's fast. <laughs> Did you see how quick he darted out of here? That's a nice Spanish. Meaty. That's my biggest so far, nice Spanish. Get out of here, dude, see ya. I'm throwing the Halco Twisty. Again, this is the one ounce. And something that I will say about these treble hooks that come on here stock, it's hanging on to these fish very well. I've had difficulty in the past with heavier spoons and hooks not really hanging on, but I'm three for three so far. Once I've hooked up, I haven't haven't lost them. So that's that's good. That's a good ratio. There he is. There we go. Oh yeah, come on. Come on. Stay with me. Oh yeah. Such a fun way to come out here and fish. Throwing a spoon. catch an aggressive fish there he is the water is oh <laughs> the water is uh, cleaning up a little bit and these fish are really pretty coming through that clean water so beautiful thank you buddy see ya <laughs> oh it's so much fun I love beach fishing so glad to be back out here and I can stand in the water. It's not freezing cold. Spring is here. It is here. Catching pompano, catching Spanish. There's another one. Oh, oh, oh. This one is throwing down. Goodness. Is this a Spanish? Dude, he is. He is upset with me. Or, if, or maybe it's a blue. I don't know. I think it's just a stud Spanish. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's a beast. That is a beast. Let's see if we can get this guy to the beach. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he is thick. That's like a dang king. It's not. It's, he's got the, the black dorsal fin. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is a stud. Spanish look at that thing good gracious check out this Spanish oh my gosh he's going crazy he's throwing water all over the lens going nuts okay we got to get this guy back stud though we got to get him back all right oh see ya get out of here they oh gosh he was mad man that fish was mad good gracious that's definitely one of the bigger Spanish that I've caught from the beach. That was a nice fish and he was going nuts. He's like through sand and water and 
crap everywhere. That was a booger to deal with. Man, what a feisty fish, that was fun. I thought it was a blue because of how hard it was fighting because you know, the smaller Spanish, they, don't, they can't fight too hard. That was awesome. I casted for several more hours, really wanted to put in some time to locate Jack Curvell or possibly a big redfish, but unfortunately it just wasn't my day. I put in the time, put in the effort, made the casts, but sometimes it's just what you gotta do. You gotta put in your time, especially when you're going for fish like this in the surf with artificial lures. It's all about just putting in the time. Had a great day, stumbled across those Spanish. Was so glad to get on some fish, it was so fun, even though it wasn't necessarily the original plan. But that, you know, when you're out there slinging lures like that, any, any kind of fish that you can get on is just a lot of fun, especially when they're feeding like that, when you get in those frenzies. It's a blast, but definitely we'll be putting in more time with the poppers, the big plugs, the big spoons, going after those jacks. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you stay bummy.